makes sense now. Shit just got real, things are getting intense now. I hear you talking about we a lot, oh, you speak French now. Giving me the sign, so I gotta take a hint now. I hate your heart like, do you want Hey, you guys, welcome back to another video from your girl. So today I'm gonna be installing this wig by Uni's Hair. This is a 7x5 inch lace closure wig in water wave texture. This is also a bye bye knots wig, which means that the knots come pre bleached and it is also pre plucked, um, which means you really don't have to do anything to the wig other than just throw it on. I'm also going to be applying this wig glueless today, completely glueless. So I'm going to be using the adjustable band that comes with the wig. And I'm, this is basically what keeps the wig down and in place so that you don't have to use any sprays glues gels nothing literally you can just take this wig on and off whenever you please i kind of went in and plucked a little bit a tiny bit because i personally like a little bit of a widow's peak on a wig i feel like it makes the wig look a little bit more natural but that's just my opinion you definitely don't have to do that if you don't choose to do that the wig is plucked perfectly but i just like that widow's peak um but yeah i'm just pulling out some baby hairs i do want to do baby hairs with this wig i feel like a curly wig is not complete unless you have baby hairs i don't know what it is but it just adds like that extra razzle dazzle on a wig so i'm just pulling them out and twisting them just to get them out of my face then I'm going to go in with the Erica J Super Melted Grip Spray. And I'm going to put this on a edge comb and just use this to brush my edges up um, just to make it look more natural and neat. This is also a really good spray that I've been using lately just to like melt your wig. So if you just wanted to add this on the lace just to give it like an extra melt, you definitely could use it. I'm not going to use it today because I don't feel like it was needed. Or it doesn't have a super strong hold, but just for that melt. Is it 10 out of 10? So I felt like the edges of the lace were kind of curling up for a little bit. Um, I just needed to lay them down a little bit better. So I'm just using a Nairobi hair mousse and I just added it, added that to the lace. And then I'm using my Unis edge wrap and I'm just tying it down so everything can just lay in place. So I do like to hot comb my wig down in sections as y'all probably know. So I just do a section, section a little piece off and then I add some of my She Is Bomb wax stick and then I use my Andy's hot comb on the hottest setting that it can go. I need that hot comb to be blazing like so hot. I need to see smoke. If I don't see smoke, it's not hot. And I just use that to go over that wax stick and just get everything laid down. And the lace turned out so good. This is a true definition of an HD lace. Chef's kit. Amazing. And I don't like my baby hairs to be too, too thick. So I do like to go in with some tweezers and pluck some of like the excess hair um, before I actually start laying my baby hairs down. And then I'm going to go in with an eyebrow razor and just cut them at a slanted angle. This just makes them look the most natural in my opinion rather than using scissors straight across. I do like to go in with the scissors to just kind of clean up the cut a little bit because sometimes it's like hair left over. So I'm just cleaning up the cut just a little bit. But um, I do like to use 
razors. And then I'm taking my pencil flat irons that I got from Amazon and I'm just curling them upward to just get them into shape before I start to mold them. And for the baby hairs, I like to use Eco Styler Gel. This is the Argan Oil one and this Nairobi Hair Mousse. And I just mix the two. I use my edge comb and I add the gel and then I go in with the mousse. And I just lay my baby hairs. So then I'm going to go in with my makeup. This is Maybelline Fit Me in the color Coconut. Um, the lace is a little bit paler than to my liking. So I'm just going to use this to kind of tap on the lace and blend it better with my skin tone to make everything just match a lot better. And then I'm just going to tie everything up again because I'm about to define these curls and I don't want my edges to be getting wet. <laughs> So I'm just going to be using a spray bottle and I'm just going to define my curls with water and mousse. So I'm just spraying the hair a little bit with water. I'm not going to get the hair like soaking wet because this hair texture is really loose. So it doesn't really require a lot of water to detangle and to make it look, you know, too defined. Um, so I'm just going to use a little bit of water and a little bit of mousse. You don't need a lot, but just a little bit. And then I'm using this detangler brush to detangle out the curls. I honestly think that this is my favorite texture of curly hair on a wig just because it's so easy to maintain the curls are really loose so it doesn't require a lot of products a lot of water um, it's not hard to detangle it's really just a really good texture especially if you're a beginner and you just trying to start off on curly hair you don't know where to start I feel like the other textures that are a little bit tighter are a little bit harder to maintain you might have to add water and product to them every day but with this texture you might just can add a little bit of water to refresh it and it's gonna do what it needs to do so love this texture this is water wave hair by Eunice Then I'm going to take a little bit of concealer. This is LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Warm Honey. And I'm just taking this lens and angle brush and I'm putting this down my part just to get the part straighter and just bring the whole look together. So this is the finished look and it turned out so cute, y'all. I'm obsessed with these curls these are like those effortless beachy wave curls that you wear to like the beach and you just get your hair wet you just run it on the sand on an island yeah that's what this hair is giving and it's so cute so this wig is by uni's hair and this wig is 24 inches and it is a 7 by 5 inch lace closure which means that it is 7 inches across and 5 inches to the back the hair isn't like super thick but me personally i feel like super thick curly hair can become a bit too much okay, so this is a glueless wig i didn't add any glue to this wig i did do my baby hairs and i added a little bit of makeup just to get the lace to blend better but other than that this wig is glueless and you can just take it on and put it right back on you don't have to worry about the spray not lasting you don't have to worry about glue not lasting you don't have to worry about sweating it out throw the wig on take the wig off so simple and so easy 